Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. Today we will discuss about nucleophilic addition reactions of carbonyl group. I will discuss about basic concepts of its various reactions and some re name reactions. Mirvin pondroff valray reduction. It is part 1. In part 2, I will try to cover all other name reactions. So you can follow me on Unacademy by using my name Nidhi Verma and I have just joined an academy so you can follow me there for updates I will try to cover complete syllabus of CSI and NET through courses before December 2019 so let's start the video nucleophilic addition reaction some basic concepts are in carbonyl compounds the carbonyl group is C double bond O and in which because of the presence of oxygen atom oxygen has partial negative charge and carbon has partial positive charge so nucleophile which is electron rich will attack on electron deficient carbon and it is the rate determining step of this reaction rate determining or rate limiting step of this reaction attack of nucleophile on carbon of carbonyl group so if we have a group which contains the group which contains which is associated with groups having electron donating nature so the positive charge of carbon will be reduced okay so in this way the positive charge is reduced so reaction will be slow in case of formaldehyde we have only two hydrogens in case of acetaldehyde we have one methyl group which is electron donating in nature and it can reduce the positive charge developed on the carbon and in case of acetone, we have two methyl groups. So they further deduce the positive nature of carbon and carbon. So the order of reactivity will be highest for formaldehyde, then acetaldehyde and lowest will be for acetone. So the electron donating group reduce the addition reaction of carbonyl groups. Addition reaction of nucleophile on carbonyl group. And if we have an electron withdrawing group, it can enhance the addition of nucleophile to the carbonyl. But if we have double bond in conjugation of carbonyl group, then what will happen? This bond will shift here. So the positive charge is now present on the double bond of this carbon. Okay. So it will show one four addition instead of addition to the carbon of carbonyl group so in this way conjugation is not good for nucleophile addition to carbonyl group if we have conjugated alkene or in the, the conjugation is present in the form of benzene ring so it is also not good then nucleophile attack at the carbonyl at an angle of 10 degree 107 degree and this angle is known as Berge Dunitz angle after the name of its discoverer so what will happen this nucleophile will attack at an angle of 107 degree so it is the, also a reason of slower reactivity of acetone as compared to acetaldehyde towards the addition reaction of carbonyl group and this angle is due to to avoid the steric interaction so this is also a reason of higher reactivity of aldehyde than ketone because in case of ketones we have two R groups so they may cause hindrance by the to the approaching nucleophile but in case of acetaldehyde we have one hydrogen and one is methyl so it is easy to approach for nucleophile then first reaction is reaction with hydride we have already discussed about these reactions these reactions include reaction with alum lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydrides and other hydride toners. I have also discussed about them in previous video. I will provide you the link of those videos in the description box so you may check there. And the reaction with organometallic reagents include reaction with reaction with Grignard reagent and organolithium compounds and then the reaction with alcohol the reaction with alcohol leads to the formation of hemiacetals it is a reversible reaction so alcohol will react and this we have to attach oet group with the carbon and it leads to the formation of hemiacetal so what is the mechanism the mechanism is this that the lone pair of electron present on oxygen will attack on the carbonyl carbon and oxygen has negative charge so this 
group will attach here this alcohol will attach here and now the oxygen has a positive charge because it is electron deficient in the next step the second molecule of alcohol will attack and in which this hydrogen will be attached with this bond will shift because now oxygen is electron deficient so this hydrogen will attach with this oxygen which is electron rich so this will be the next intermediate and now we have a uh, ethanol which is attached with two hydrogen so this oxygen has positive charge so this bond will shift here and this O negative will bind with this hydrogen so we have an a molecule of hemiacetal but this is the reaction when we have not used any acid or base catalyst let's take an example of intramolecular reaction of alcohols with carbonyl group so suppose we have an molecule like this which has this aldehyde group so the lone pair for in the first step the lone pair present on the oxygen of oh will attack on the carbonyl carbon and this bond will shift here now there is the formation of a cyclic ring which has which is five membered okay four is carbon atoms and one is oxygen so it is a five membered ring and we have h attached here and oxygen has positive charge in the next step this bond will shift here and the negative charge present on oxygen attack on hydrogen so we have a molecule of lactol here so this mechanism is our mechanism is the mechanism when we have not used any proton or acid or base catalyst but in generally we use a uh, acidic or basic catalyst for this reaction so if we use a uh, acid catalyst then what will be the reaction mechanism so in the first step this oxygen containing lone pair of electron will attack on h plus because we are using a acidic system so this oxygen has now a positive charge so now our carbon which is electrophile in the reaction will will become more electrophilic in nature because the oxygen atom is already electronegative and in the presence of positive charge it will become more electronegative so the carbon will become more electrophilic in nature now the reaction rate will be enhanced so in this step the reaction is the first step is same as previous that the lone pair of electron present on oxygen atom of ethanol will attack on carbonyl carbon and this bond will shift here so we have oh here and o h e t here now the same step this o has positive charge so this o h bond will break and h plus will be removed because it is acting as a catalyst so it will be removed in the reaction so we have a molecule of hemiacetal here now if we have a oh as a catalyst or basic catalyst then what will be the mechanism so in the first step this e etoh will react with oh and water is removed because h is removed from etoh so we have a molecule of water in the product and eto minus so previously we were using etoh as a nucleophile but in this base catalyzed reaction we are using eto minus which is more nucleophilic in nature than etoh so nucleophilic character of the nucleophile is enhanced using basic catalyst because we have used we have generated a water molecule so in the next step this negative charge will attack on this h and oh is removed so again we have a molecule of hemiacetal next reaction is reaction with nacn and this reaction leads to the formation of cyanohydrins with aldehydes and ketones this reaction is catalyzed by acid so reaction is very simple we are using a nucleophile which is cn minus and it will attack on carbonyl carbon and we have a molecule of cyanohydrin because we are using h plus acid as a catalyst so this reaction will be proceed like this and we have a molecule of cyanohydrin so the reaction of carbonyls with 
nucleophiles generates racemic mixture if we do not have any chiral compound in the reactants okay if the reactants or the catalyst are a chiral in nature there will be the generation of racemic mixture means we have 50 is to 50 ratio of r and s configuration in the product when the reactants are a chiral in nature because there is a equal probability that cn minus or other nucleophile can attack from the side above or below the plane so we have a racemic mixture in this case when we have a chiral reactants but when we have a chiral center near carbonyl group then the attack of nucleophile is governed by cramps rule we have already discussed about cramps or anti cramps rule in the previous video i will provide the link of that videos in the description box and you can check there next reaction is the reaction with sodium hydrogen sulfide or sodium bisulfide so this is the reaction when the lone pair present on the sulfur will attack on the carbonyl carbon and there is the formation of an addition product which is known as bisulfite addition compound so in the next step this h of uh, because sulfur has positive charge so this bond will shift here high oxygen hydrogen bond and this minus charge on oxygen will attack on h so we have a addition product as a final compound this reaction is reversible reaction therefore bisulfite compounds are useful as an intermediate in synthesis of other compounds using aldehydes and ketones it is used as a intermediate in the formation of other compounds of aldehydes and, and ketones for example in a reaction of acetone with sodium bisulfite and nacn we have cyanohydrin of acetone as a final product because bisulfite addition compound is acting as an intermediate which will react further with cn minus and there is a formation of cyanohydrin so this is the final product then the reaction of aldehyde and ketones with aluminum isopropoxide this reaction is known as mirvin pondroff walde reduction so in this reaction we are using aluminum isopropoxide and alcohol generally isopropanol is used as a solvent and aldehydes and ketones are converted into alcohol the reverse of this reaction is known as openor reaction in this reaction alcohols are converted into aldehydes or ketones and we use aluminum isopropoxide as a catalyst and excess of ketone as a solvent generally acetone is used for this purpose but the open or reaction is not good for primary alcohols this is generally used or highly selective you may say for the secondary alcohols and secondary alcohols are converted into ketones so let's take mechanism of this reaction in the first step the lone pair of electron present on oxygen of carbonyl will coordinate with aluminum of aluminum isopropoxide so we have a cyclic transition state because it is a six member transition state so we can denote it by chair conformation so in this transition state two isopropoxide group will remain as such and the hydrogen of one of the isopropoxide group will attach with carbon of carbonyl group so we have c CCH3 group here and the H of this carbon will attach with carbon of carbonyl. So this is the transition state. In the reaction step, this bond will shift here and this bond will break and shift here and this hydrogen carbon bond will break and it will shift here. So acetone will be removed because we have CCH3 all twice CO group here. So it will be removed and we have this is a product we have this product in the next step we are using alcohol and generally isopropanol is used so the h of isopropanol will attach with oxygen atom and we have a secondary alcohol here as a product and aluminum isopropoxide will be removed as such this reaction is highly chemoselective in nature because it does not affect double bond 
and nitro ester other groups it only reduces carbonyl carbon carbonyl group into alcohols then modified mevin pondroff reaction in generally reaction we are using aluminum isopropoxide as a solvent as a catalyst and other solvents in modified form we are using tfa trifluoroacetic acid and the product is same the product is the formation of alcohol but trifluoroacetic acid enhances the rate of reaction so in the exam you may have the presence of trifluoroacetic acid so be don't be confused with it simply convert aldehyde or ketone into alcohols then mirvin pondroff reduction is inensio may be inensio selective in nature if reactants are a chiral then there is no issue but we may have chirality present in the ligate of aluminum isopropoxide suppose we have a aluminum isopropoxide in which two groups are the group of isopropoxide but one is the group in which we have ethyl in instead of methyl and this ethyl is suppose above the plane and this methyl is below the plane so this carbon is attached with four different groups so it is chiral in nature and now we are using a ketone which is prochiral in nature prochiral means it will be converted into chiral compound after the reaction so it is attached with methyl and hexyl group so when we react it with this catalyst then what will happen the reaction mechanism is same this lone pair of electron present on oxygen will coordinate with aluminum so we have a transition state cyclic transition state and here are two possibilities one possibility is this that uh, this hexyl group will be above the plane and methyl will go below the plane this is the transition state so i will denote h by a dashed line because the bond is actually not formed okay and this is the first possibility of transition state other is that this hexyl group may go below the plane and methyl will come above the plane so this is the another possibility of transition state now these two transition state will lead to the different products so this bond will break the reaction mechanism is same as previous so this will be bond will break and this will break so we have a molecule of ketone will be removed and similarly in the second transition state so first transition state leads to the formation of this product in which hexyl group is above the plane and second transition state leads to the formation of the product in which hexyl group is below the plane so you can determine their configuration using using r and s nomenclature so this is the i am using the priority method and this will be the r product and this will be s so what the product will be formed in the higher concentration because in one first transition state hexyl and ethyl group are above the plane because of the bulky nature of hexyl group these two groups may interact with each other so there is increase in the energy of transition state higher energy transition state means the product will be lesser in, in amount and this in this case hexyl and ethyl group are on the opposite side of the plane so this transition state is favorable and we have s product as a mesa product okay so this reaction is inensio selective because one enantiomer is formed in preference to other one so this types of reaction are known as inensio selective reaction and mirvin pondroff reduction is most common example of inensio selective reactions i will end my today's video here thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notification you can follow me on unacademy using my name nidhi verma